Just because I'm six foot two, 260 pounds doesn't mean you're supposed to be afraid of me. I feel like when I walk into an elevator and there's like four or five, you know, different other people in there, they're thinking, hmm, let's see what this guy's gonna do. Let me like double check. Maybe they're not afraid, but they're on notice. In a way, it's like, you know, where in one sense, I wish that it didn't exist and I wish that I didn't sense, you know, that they were threatened just by my presence without even knowing who I am. Um, although I wish that it didn't exist, I'm, I'm kind of glad for it because now it, it gives me like a goal or gives me something to like try to debunk. And like the reason I smile on stage is because I know I'm completely crushing people's perceptions of not only what, um, what a violin can do or what music could possibly sound like, but also of what a black man is capable of, is capable of, is capable of. Say you can hang around 
this little song that I'm singing about, people you know is true. If you're black and gotta work for a living now, this is what they would say to you. This is if you was white, be all right. If you was brown, stick around. But as you black, oh brother, get back, get back, get back. I was in a place one night. They're all having fun. They're all buying beer and wine, but they would not sell me none. They said if you was white, you'd be all right. If you was brown, you stick around. But as you black, oh brother, get back, get back, get back. To inform me at office, the number that I got in line. They called everybody's number, but they never did call mine. They said if you was white, you'd be all right. If you was brown, you'd stick around. But as you black, oh brother, get back, get back, get back. Me and a man was working side by side. This is what it meant. They was paying him a dollar now, and they was paying me fifty cents. He said, if you was white, you'd be all right. If you was brown, stick around. But as you black, oh brother, get back, get back, get back. I hope built this country, and I fought for it too. Now I guess that you can see what a black man have to do. He says if you was white, she's all right. If you was brown, stick around. But as you black, oh brother, get back, get back, get back. I hope win sweet victory with my little ply and hoe. Now I want you to tell me, brother, what you gonna do about the old Jim Crow? Now if you's white, she's all right. If you's brown, stick around. But if you's black, oh brother, get back, get back, get back.
great, the one and only Coffee in from the soundtrack of the new Netflix movie, The Harder They Fall. That's the theme, The Harder They Fall. And I hope you've seen that because that's about African-American cowboys and it's got a great cast. And check it out. Check it out because it's a shame. 21st century. And there's still people out there that don't know the history of African-American cowboys in this country. It's just amazing. I'm saying this country, although I'm in Bangkok, but I'm talking about America because most folks that listen to the show are in the U.S. And before that, we did uh, Big Bill Boozy and Black, Brown, and White. Then we did Israel Vibration. They used a little cut from Big Bill Boozy in their song. And that was Israel Vibration and Racial Discrimination. Then we started to set off with Black Violin and Stereotypes. And I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I want to thank uh, Sherry Mazak and all the other folks she interviewed today about Asians in Hollywood. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you contact those folks. Uh, you got their emails. You got their Facebook sites and everything. So please contact that and just learn some more there. Because this is what the show is about. It's just education. We have fun with the music. But there's messages in the majority of the music I play. And I hope you enjoyed the music today here on the Root & Root Show. If you got any suggestions, because I got a lot of folks who just thank me for the show and they offer suggestions, you can go to my Facebook site, look for my Facebook site, Gregory, G-R-E-G-O-R-Y, last name Rashid, R-A-S-H-E-E-D. And I know in the past I have mentioned another Facebook site, but I've had to change to a new one thanks to the algorithms, the silliness of Meta or whatever uh, Mark Zuckerberg is calling Facebook now. So I've had to change to another one. It's crazy. But yeah, join that Facebook site. If you've got to ask me questions or anything about the show, any suggestions, I appreciate suggestions for the show. But again, we're still in the midst of the pandemic. I mean, here in Thailand, they've opened up the country, but still, it is a pandemic. And so do what you can. Help someone, especially a senior in your community, in your province in your neighborhood, in your apartment complex, wherever you may be, if they need their non-rake, their uh, leaves rake, if they need the uh, snow shovel, you need to just check on as far as if they have food in their home, if they have the proper medications, they need medications, or they need a ride, they just go anywhere. Keep that social distancing on the one hand, but please just check up on the seniors in your neighborhood, as well as the young folks. Because there's still a lot of folks here in Thailand. Schools are gradually opening, but still a lot of them are open. So if you have the means to donate or pay for a tablet, laptop, desktop computer for a young person, please do that. Because a lot of folks, they need that. If you can donate uh, paying for Wi-Fi or pay for Wi-Fi for a couple of months for a child in your neighborhood, that would be greatly appreciated because we're all in this together. You can play this game. Some folks out there not wear masks and do stuff, but pandemic's still here. And you see what's going, you know, things are still going on. There's still a lot of people that have not been vaccinated. So if you can do that, get your vaccination, you know, wear your mask. Do your complaining when you get behind closed doors in your own place. Don't do it in public because you make yourself, you make yourself an ass and all. But anyway. This is Greg Rashid with the Root Root Show. We'll see you next time. Go in love, go in peace. Help those in your community when you can, especially the seniors and young folks. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. And remember, spread the knowledge, share the power.